There are many strategies for solving complex multiplication. So, how does drawing a picture help us to solve these types of problems? In this lesson, you will learn how to multiply a three-digit number by a one-digit number by drawing an area model to organize your thinking. You know that in a two-digit by one-digit multiplication problem that it's difficult to count by equal groups of large numbers. So one strategy is to break our double-digit number into its individual place values. That way, we can use our knowledge of extended facts to understand our solution. The more digits our factors have, the more it takes to correctly find the products. The area model is a way to visualize and keep track of our thinking. Correctly naming numbers in expanded notation is essential to successfully using the area model. In this example, 368 is renamed 300 plus 60 plus 8. We'll get to all the specifics in a moment, but for right now, notice that there are three separate parts to this problem. This means that you'll be multiplying to find three products, and then adding those three products together. Now, I want you to notice the difference in the way that I've recorded the products under the multiplication column. Now, look at the way I've done so under addition. First, enter the large rectangle. Next, single digit on our vertical side. Now we evaluate our three digit number. Before we expand it out, we're going to divide our rectangle into three sections, one for each place value. And we want to leave a little more room for our hundreds than for our tens, and even less room for our ones. I'm going to write out my number sentence in each section. 300 times 7 equals 2,100 extended fact. 6 times 7. 6 times 7 equals 42. 60 is 10 times bigger than 6, so 420. 8 times 7? 56. Now all that's left to do is add the sections together. So I'm going to take 300 times 7. Now, when I take 60 times 7, so now I know that 7 groups of 360 is 2,520. Now looking back at my model, I can see that that's these two sections right here. Now put back together our seven groups of 360 with our seven groups of eight. And what we're saying is that we have a total of seven groups of 368 for a total of 2,576. In this lesson, you have learned how to multiply a three-digit number by a one-digit number by drawing an area model to organize your thinking.